What's up, guys? So, Ninja Warrior Aviators on the Super Hat bringing you another episode or the latest episode of Fight Like a Superhero or Supervillain. It's really the Fight Like series. So, this is the series where I take a character from comics, movies, um, TV shows, video games, all of it, and teach you what it would take for you to learn how to fight like them. And at the end, I will go into some techniques you can practice at your own home to fight just like them. So, with all that said, without further ado, this is going to be Fight Like Captain America. Let's go. Now I switched up the hat because I figured I'm doing a Marvel video and uh, I mean, it'd be best to do, you know, a Marvel hat. I would wear a Captain America hat right now, but I don't have any, so. Uh, I'm gonna rock the uh, Black Panther hat for right now. Thank you to Georgia for giving me this hat for my birthday. But uh, because you know, I might I might be a little emotional right now just because I just rewatched Infinity War from you know since it's been in the movies and whew, man, it's, it it tugs at you, it tugs at you just a little bit. But um, so we're gonna go into Captain America like I said earlier. So a big thing for you to know uh, When I'm talking about Captain America, I'm talking about movie cap. I'm talking about MCU Captain America because the fighting style between MCU cap and comic book cap or MCU cap versus like a lot of the uh, cartoon caps is drastic and if you want me to go into their fighting style a little bit later leave a like or leave the comment down below and tell me uh, what what you want to see also tell me like what characters you want me to do because I have a bunch on the list But like I can do some before others if you want to see those so uh, Definitely let me know. But anyway, anyway, I'm getting off track before I need to get off track <laughs> uh, The first thing I, I'm gonna like just tell you straight up You're gonna want to get a lot of kickboxing as your base and the reason I say that is because he uses a lot of his upper body. Yes, he does do kicks and does add his acrobatics to it, but his base, his uh, base combat techniques are gonna be the jabs, the crosses, the uppercuts, that strong uh, roundhouse kick, all popular and effective kickboxing techniques. And the way he fights is also gonna be a very kickboxer s style. Uh, he will be adding his, you know, enhanced strength to his punches to make him punch a little harder. And he does add his enhanced agility to allow him to do more things and to um, specialize and to move in or to maneuver a little bit more than he would in other than a normal, you know, kickboxer would. So it's not the same as kickboxing, but kickboxing is definitely going to be the base you want to get into. Focusing on, you know, the uh, the crosses, the hooks the jabs, all that fancy stuff. And of course, uh, basic kicks like his side kick and the roundhouse kick, just to name a few. Uh, so next, after that, you're gonna wanna work on your parkour. Not necessarily, flip, necessarily flipping. Uh, flipping is good to have, but he doesn't really you know, do it as often as you would think. Don't get me wrong. He has some awesome flips in his fights, like when he, you know, does the the uh, corkscrew into a, a droid from <laughs> Age of Ult Ultron, or when he does like a flip kick and knocks out one of the guys in uh, Civil War, or not Civil War, it was, ah, uh, drawing a blank, it was the second one, man, Winter Soldier, that's what it was, man, drawing a blank here, but uh, but what you're gonna wanna mostly focus on is getting from point A to point B quickly and effectively being able to go around and through uh, different obstacles without you know having a problem so uh, one of the biggest things you're gonna want to practice is being able to go through in between targets from one to the other smoothly seamlessly and without you know taking hits because you know he does have the shield but he doesn't have a lot of armor so uh, gunshots are gonna affect him like it does in the first Avengers movie when he gets hit in the stomach and put in his belly um, gunshots will kill him if he gets hit you know uh, punches hurt less than you know a normal human being but still strong punches will put him down he has to be able to block you have to be able to avoid uh, oncoming attacks like a normal fighter would like you know a normal fighter should 
obviously he's Captain America, so he can take more than the normal, but you're not wearing armor. You're not armored up in, you know, uh, Iron Man armor. You can't just take bullets to the chest and to the face without flinching. You have to react to it, which segues into my next part, his, his version of armor, which is going to be his shield. Uh, for the video, I'm going to use this thing right here. Uh, it's not, it's obviously not, you know, vibranium, but it'll get the job done. I, I put uh, some straps underneath, and if you want to see the video of us building this, check out the, I think it's the Rebel ship to Florida. Uh, it's one of the big Rebel ships I took to Florida. I met up with the Amazing Spider Dude, and it was really awesome. If you want to know more about uh, how that, when that thing was built, and uh, how it, you know, came to be what it is, Definitely check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. I might not. It's on the channel. You can find it. But, uh, so Captain America uses that shield in multiple ways. Now, the most iconic way he uses it is, of course, he throws it. Now, gotta be real with you guys. If you throw your shield, you're stupid. It's just, it, it is what it is. You cannot, like, your shield is keeping you safe from bullets from, you know, uh, heavy, you know, t hitting techniques like bat swings or hammers, um, blades, all that fun stuff. Your shield protects you from that. If you throw your shield, then you kind of lose that protection, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a shield. So, real life, don't throw it unless you absolutely have to. Last, like, last course of action, you, you're there about to shoot someone you care about, you throw the shield, hopefully you hit them with a gun out of the hand, something, but that is the last the last course of action so with that out the way how you should use your shield in a realistic real life equivalent of captain america's fighter style because you know vibranium doesn't exist you're not going to get the same bounce back which doesn't make sense how vibranium absorbs vibrations but it also bounces like i never understood that but anyway <laughs> besides the point uh when you're using your shield you're gonna want to use the two parts of the shield for different reasons so your front of the shield classic star right there it's kind of awkwardly shaped but whatever it'll work uh so this is going to be used obviously to protect you so you're going to want to use this in for protection and stuff like that but you're also going to want to use it for um shield bashes so if you're fighting bang 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 going in and bashing you know your enemies in the face stuff like that so uh, maybe even a blitz where you push forward as fast as you can, pushing back or pushing the line, you know, the the, the uh, line of scrimmage, I want to say, <laughs> forward. So that's what you use the front end for. Now, the edge, the edge is more interesting for combat, in my opinion, because the edge you can use for more powerful, more precise, and more devastating jabs, basically. So, I, or really any punch, a jab, an uppercut, a cross, a hook. All of them. When you get that shield, because your fist, you know, is wide. But when you get that shield edge going, you get that small part delivering all the force you're throwing into it with that punch. So breaking, you know, the jaw one hit. Breaking, like, any rib you want, basically. Even breaking the arms when you hit the arms. Like, if they try to block and you hit the arms, you're going to break the arms. So this is a great way to basically stop a fight in one hit because you can't really punch someone if your arms are broken that's just not how that it just doesn't work that's not how science works so that's what the edge of the shield is going to use and so as you're going to see later i use both for those reasons uh and i especially like the one i use with the edge so i'm gonna put this away for right now <clears throat> so now with all that said you take like what you do with these videos guys is you take what is said and you train with it with you know whatever martial art you want obviously i narrowed it down for this video but i may not in other videos and i usually won't in my other videos take what those techniques take those uh techniques that you will see and take the pointers and kind of concepts that you get in the early part of the video and make it into the video that you or the fighting style that you want to have based off of Captain America or whoever else the video is for. So, without further ado, let's get into the outside portion of this video. Even though it's nighttime, I recorded the outside portion like three days ago, I think. Four days ago. 
actually longer than that. I recorded that before I even like two weeks ago. Anyway, let's get into this next part of the video. All right, let's go over the first combo with our Captain America shield right here. This is the a shield that the, me and the Rebels made a while ago, and so this is what we're gonna use. So, what we're gonna do first is this is gonna be um, a double block combo. So obviously with the shield, they're gonna be attacking first. So first off, you're in your fighting stance, you're, uh, you're with your shield up, right? Now you're gonna have your first block bang over on your right side with your left hand because your shield should be on your left hand at least that's how i carry my shield if you want to switch it up you can just reverse all of this now from here you're gonna go underneath the second punch so they swung a bat at you on this side it broke bang you're gonna go underneath the second punch grab it and break that arm just like that so one two Grab, break, just like that. One more time, one, bang, just like that. That's gonna be your very powerful strike with the corner of the shield, able to basically break any arm that you uh, use it with. So the next one's gonna be uh, a uh, more of a of a forward attack, less of a break. So this one's gonna be our. <coughs> excuse me, I'm. Uh, my voice is kind of getting hoarse. It's gonna be our first block and hiding that that torso behind the shield then once you get a, uh, close enough you're going to pop with that shield hit them knock them get them dizzy with that uh, the front of the shield with that bash and once you get that bash you're going to back spinning side kick just like in that video we did a little bit ago that uh combat for dummies video if you've been watching those you would know uh, what would be coming for this uh, so one more time you got your fighting stance with the shield forward, your block, your shield bash with using that second hand to, to give you that force, turning around, back leg, side kick, just like that. All together. One, two, three. Kind of like that. Okay, for the last one, it's going to be a rib break, going for those uh, the floating and vulnerable ridge right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first, just like all of these, you're going to block above the head. You're going to take that right hand, hook across the chin, hitting the, the hinge of the jaw just to kind of daze them and even break their jaw if you hit them hard enough. So block, break the jaw, stepping through across that their ribs, just like that, hitting with the edge of the shield. One more time, up, blocking right there. Hinge of the jaw, stepping through, breaking through those ribs all together. One, two, three. Just like that. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I enjoy getting the excuse to watch uh, movies and TV shows of these characters just so I can uh, record these videos and make these fight scenes. And honestly, making these fight, you know, concepts these fight like uh videos are really is really fun for me i just it's i enjoy it and so if you have a spe specific character in the future that you want me to do let me know because i would love to be you know exposed to different things maybe an anime character i've never heard of or you know maybe even a comic book character i've never heard of i don't know them all there's some that you, things that you know that i don't so let me know down in the comments leave me your suggestions i want to know what to do next but with all that said please don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out